everybody. Uh, today we're going to be looking at an old project that I did a couple years ago. Um, it was a stack on gun cabinet that I converted into an ammunition cabinet. Had a couple of these uh, cabinets kicking around and for those of you uh, unfamiliar with the, what the uh, stack on gun cabinets are, they're pretty much the uh, least expensive gun cabinet you can buy. I think uh, the cabinet at the time was about a hundred dollars and uh, they come in this really ugly forest green color. Um, they meet all the requirements to keep you legal for keeping your guns locked up but uh, that's about it. Uh, someone could really break into them fairly easily if they wanted to. Now uh, I took one of my old cabinets and I've added shelves into it, uh, lined it, uh, just or made it easier to organize my ammunition. Um, if you're like me, you probably own several different calibers, shotguns, rifles, etc. And uh, you probably have a whole bunch of different uh, ammunition for each of those rifles. So anyways, uh, let's go take a look at this cabinet and uh, we'll see what you think. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys, I, I did two of these stack on gun cabinets and converted them both. Um, the one on the right is my actual rifle cabinet, one on the left is my ammunition cabinet. i am just going to show you I stenciled a couple of RAM logos on the fronts of these, but uh, I was just going to uh, just show you the finish on these. So this is a granite uh, paint that you can buy at Home Depot or Lowe's, and uh, also the stencil, I got the black granite paint and use that um, with the stencil. So um, basically what I did was I took these old cabinets, I sanded them down a little bit just to roughen up the paint surface and I repainted them with this uh, granite looking paint that I got at uh, Home Depot. Uh, kind of just see the, get a better idea. It's the light and it's really poor in here. But uh, let's take a look inside this uh, ammunition cabinet here. Okay, I apologize in advance for the lights. But, um, oh, actually, let me see if I can maybe grab this one. So basically, uh, what I did, I painted the inside of the doors and everything. It's just easier that way than to try to make it all neat and tidy. But uh, basically what I did was I put in all these shelves um, just to organize the ammunition. Now that can there, that's a dehumidifier kind of can. It sucks moisture out of the air. I've got some of these uh, silicone bags that I that you'd get out of like shoe boxes and things like that. And I just uh, wanted to show you these shelves. So the shelves themselves are all made out of wood, but I lined them with felt just to make the stuff slide a bit better. Um, now there was a little bit of custom cutting just to, to make the door hinges be able to close but basically the wood shelves just go in there and uh, it's its own little shelving unit. We assembled it inside the cabinet and then I just painted the whole thing once the shelves were in. And uh, But yeah I've got one, two, three, five shelves in this cabinet. I made it so that um, it would hold four to five boxes depending on the caliber um, high per shelf and then I used the bottom area for my shotgun shells and the top area just for like 22 shells clips and whatnot and uh, it looks like there's a lot of ammunition but really with the amount of calibers I have this I don't really have that much uh, ammunition per caliber anyways that's about wraps it up for the tour of the uh, ammunition uh, cabinet so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, lock this back up. Alright uh, that was my stack on conversion into my ammunition cabinet. I hope you guys like this. Uh, give me your comments below and uh, make sure to let me know what you thought of this project.